All right, hi, and welcome back to Dwayne's Guitar Lessons. I'm working on painting the back of this guitar. And we are now at the second process. This is going to be about kind of like a five step process um, to really get this looking good like I want it to. Um, what we're doing now, what I just did in the second and the first process, is I painted it with the base coat red. You can kind of see that there. If you want to see what I painted, you just look at the last video. And now what I'm doing is I'm going over it with a candy apple transparent red. Okay, this is the color here. It's um, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is transparent, meaning that you can kind of see through it. If you look at this bottle, you can kind of see through it a little bit because the color is transparent. So, with an opaque color, you have basically a couple types of paints. You have opaque colors that have a little bit more pigment in them, and they're a little bit thicker, like white and black. And then uh, you also have like other colors too, blue and red and yellow and everything. But uh, basically what we're doing is putting down a base coat and then I'm putting this candy apple red over the top of it. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to really allow this pink to shine when the sun hits it. So I'm basically just going over it with a, called a flood wash. Going over it with this candy apple red. And what it's going to do is really pull out that other red that we have underneath it. And make it really shiny. I don't know if you can see the difference there. Probably not. Not really on the video. But on here, I'll see if I can uh, get the video a bit more when I get done here. But what it's really doing is brightening up that red that's underneath it. And that's what you want. And being that this is a candy color, candy apple red, it should look pretty good when it's all, you know, clear coated and everything. It looks pretty good when it's all sunny dead. So, kind of cover everything. So, basically, what you do is you do your base coat first. And then after that, you go back over with your candy color, which in this case is candy apple red. And it shouldn't take too much, just enough to cover all the red that you've done already. You can put some other red in there too. It won't really show up that well because you've got a black background. And with these transparent colors, you got to have some kind of base color or else you won't see them. So, that's why I put the red base coat on there first. And now I'm basically just going over all the red flames that I did before. Using this transparent uh, candy apple red is what this is. Right. I think we're pretty much done with that. Let me just go ahead and here. A little bit down here. It's really starting to pull up that other red, make it really shiny. That's the main thing we want to do. And when the light hits it, and basically what it's designed for is if the light hits it, it really shine, you know. Like if you have this guitar outside, you don't really play too much outside, but if, you, if a person does, you know, if they're playing outside. And, uh, and I basically just got the paints and stuff in these little bottles that you get at Home Depot. These bottles right here. And what I like them out, they have these little tips on them, so I can just a little bit of paint in there, a little bit of uh, you use for some painter to clean out the brush. I like this one because it's a really fine detailed one. I'll show you the difference here in a second. As opposed to the other one that we were using for the first red. What I like to do is I like to use two airbrushes. The opaque colors have a little bit of, of uh, pigment in them. 
and pigment is the paint itself. Okay. So a lot of times they leave little little pigments of paint in there in there in the gun and it, it gets clogged up and it's hard to shoot and then you try to put other colors through there and it doesn't work too well. So what I've decided to do is just use two different airbrushes. So this one's another gravity one that came with this kit that I got. It's really cool. Let's see if you can see this. Okay, so it's like the other one but it's got a smaller bowl on it. And it's got a finer tip here so it's really good for doing fine detail work. Plus I like to use my transparent colors to this because of the fact that it's smaller. And once again, it, it's a dual action, meaning that you push down on the trigger to, to release the air, you pull back to release the paint, and it gives you a lot more control as opposed to just like a single action. You have two types of brushes, single and double. And the uh, single action ones are good if you're spraying like a background or something like that. Those work really well for that. Um, but if you're trying to do some fine detail work, you want to use, um, you know, a dual action airbrush. And there's a few different ones that they make. They make gravity feed ones, they make side feed ones where the paint is fed in through the side. They also make um, siphon feed ones where they come up through the bottom. Now, I think that when you're using those kind of airbrushes, those are good, but you really need some, some good quality air, like a big air compressor, 100 PSI, that kind of stuff. And I just got this little one here, so I'm going to choose these. But these gravity feed ones work really well with the smaller airbrush. And I tried to use the bigger one. It doesn't work so good because it's got to suck the paint up. So until I get a bigger airbrush or air compressor, we're just going to have to deal with this. But this will work just fine. This little kit I found on, online, pretty cool. For my hundred bucks, I got a couple few airbrushes and an air compressor, regulator, hose, pretty much everything you need to go. So, feel pretty good about that. Okay, so here we have our second color here. I don't know if you can really see this, you probably can't see that too well. I know it just looks red, but it's, uh, you can probably even do it a little bit thicker on there, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now, it'll be fine. But when the light hits it, it'll shine a little bit more. That's basically the concept. So. Thanks once again for watching that second step. Um, then we'll uh, we'll get to the third step in a little bit here on our next video. So thanks once again. You have yourself a good one. If you like this, feel free to like it down below or leave a comment or anything that you want to do. And uh, look for our next video on the next one. Thank you very much.